protective armor to catch the broken shards. The final step is we have to put out an outer layer. The outer layer is called the spall shield. So when a bullet comes in, not only do you stop it and catch the fragments in the back, but there may be a little bit that tends to fly in the wrong direction. This will stop it. Armored protection, like Batman has in his suit, is essential to military personnel around the world. As shown in this video, taken by an enemy sniper, ceramic plating can be a soldier's best defense when under attack. The shot was aimed at the soldier's heart, but he survived thanks to his body armor. Development of the Ceridine armor has resulted in thousands of lives being saved. You can hold the muzzle up against a guy's chest and pull the trigger, and we'll stop that bullet. In my opinion, you need to lighten up. Batman can not only take a bullet, he can also literally take the heat. Thanks to the fact that his suit is made of the real fireproof material known as Nomex. Nomex is used in firefighters' uniforms. Welders can wear it. Um, racing car drivers can wear it. Anyone who's at chance of being near a high flame situation or an explosion. When exposed to flame, regular cotton fabric ignites instantly. But clothing made of Nomex doesn't burn. It doesn't catch on fire, it doesn't melt, and it doesn't do any of the horrible things you think of when you're in fire, so that you can withstand fires for minutes without melting, burning, or igniting. Nomex is a fiber with built-in flame resistance. When exposed to intense heat, the fibers carbonize and become thicker, creating a protective barrier between the suit and a person's skin. Batman can basically walk through flames with this material, and the only thing he'll feel really is the heat. And if Batman rolls and falls and gets the fire out within a few minutes, he's certainly going to be fine. One of the essential parts of any superhero suit is his cape. And Batman is no exception. But his cape benefits from a blend of real life tech and the type only found in the labs of Wayne Enterprises. Do you have any lightweight fabrics? You know, I think I have just a thing. It's called memory cloth. Notice anything? Molecules realign, become rigid. What kind of shapes can you make? Can we tailor it to fit in any structure based on a rigid skeleton? On first glance, the fantastic fabric seems like, well, a fabrication. But surprisingly, scientists say material with memory is in the works. And someday, items like Batman's amazing cape may become solid objects with the help of magnetism. One that's been under active development is something called magnetorheological fluids. You have a fluid with little particles in it that when you apply magnetic fields, they all line up and they become very, very stiff. The problem is the amount they move is very small. So you would need a lot of them to have any sort of effect on your cloth. But it is not something that's technologically impossible. It's just something we haven't figured out how to do completely yet. Okay, so let's say Batman's cape can harden into a wing. That doesn't mean he can automatically conquer the challenges of flight. Even real bats have difficulty accomplishing the feat. Bats are not very effective flyers. They're excellent gliders. The energetics involved in bat flight is really quite high. They're not particularly graceful. But Batman's method of flight doesn't involve the flapping motions used by real bats. If you look at the Batman films closely, you will find that he starts from a high location and gets to a low altitude through the use of his cape. And in this regard, the cape really is not a flight mechanism, but more of a gliding mechanism. If you have figured out how to make the memory fabric in this cape, it can give you the necessary lift to at least glide and float for some distance. The challenges you have to figure out are how to get enough lift to travel the distance he wants to do. It's the speed that he moves forward with that's the key. So he might do it by falling enough distance and let gravity speed him up. And for that, he'd need to come from a high enough building. Believe it or not, people can actually glide like the Cape Crusader. In our world, we may not have Batman's transforming cape, but we do have something similar, wingsuits. The way this thing works, is there's, there's a slit right here. Air goes in the arms and fills up the suit. 
Actually, this whole entire suit is one big wing. The whole entire thing fills up with air, and that's kind of what helps you fly. You're not just controlled falling anymore. So a wingsuit works basically the same way that we expect Batman's cape to work. You have the fabric shaped between your arms and your body and your legs in a way that gives you an airfoil type effect, a wing-like effect that generates lift as you move forward through the air. But if you look at the way they use wingsuits, you can tell that there's some dangers there in terms of the way Batman uses his cape, is most of the people using a wingsuit also have a parachute for the last bit um, to get them down to the ground safely. 